I'm in church. I'm in church today. And um, this, what I'm about to say is for people that are struggling. Like if you are a person that is in deep grief right now, if you're a person that's in deep anxiety, struggle, you are suffering, you are broken, you don't know how you're going to get the strength for tomorrow, whatever your situation is that is, it is rough, that's who I'm talking to today because I've been uh, praying the Psalms recently. I have been very convicted that when I don't know how to pray, um, this book right here is full of people that prayed. They're, it's full of people that said things to God that were real and how they really felt about the world. And um, so I've been reading their words when I don't know what to pray. I go to them and say, what are they, what did they say to God? Because maybe that's what I need to be saying. Um, and then I found this Psalm that is for you. If you have, if you are in a place of suffering, this is for you. It's Psalm 77. Okay. It's this man who, um, he is praying. His name is Asaph. He wrote songs, but he also had his own struggles. And Asaph says, I am crying out to God. I am crying out to God. God, are you listening to me? I am praying to you. I am on my bed at night crying out to you. And guess what? He says, my soul is not comforted. Like, I'm not feeling better. And, and so he goes on in this psalm and he says, I am distressed. I can't sleep. I can't eat. If you've ever felt like that, if you've ever been in a place where you're, it's affecting everything in you the frustration or the confusion or the decision you have to make or whatever it is and you are just wrestling with yourself wrestling with the world so this this man is talking and he he goes into this lord god are you have you just left have you left me i'm feeling rejected by you i'm feeling abandoned by you i'm feeling like i'm praying to you god and i know that you say you have unfailing love for me but i don't i don't see it i feel like it's gone and he even goes as far to say i feel like you have forgotten me like why am i even praying there's no answer i'm getting nothing my soul is just in distress that's the first half of Psalm 77 and then you see the writer of this song change his mind a bit and then he says but then I started to recall all the things that you've done and you see him start to remember the past the things he's gone through before that he got through that maybe were very very hard maybe they weren't like this suffering but they were suffering and and he's remembering God you brought me through that God you you helped me in that and he starts to remember in this total grief he starts to remember God, you, you are the God of miracles. I believe that. I believe that, that your ways are holy, that you are mighty, that you do do great wonders. You, you do those things. And that's who I really believe that you are. And he, he goes on to say, God, you know what? I'm remembering now. Like, you're everything. You're over the, the sea. You're over the wind. You're over the thunder. Like, the waves and the wind, you control those things. And so at the very end of this psalm, you see this man write, and this is what it says. It's like, it's the most beautiful picture to me. He says, your road led through the sea and your pathway led me through the mighty waters. Though your footprints were not seen. Though your footprints were not seen. This author is like, I, 
I couldn't I couldn't see it in that moment, God. When you were when you were carrying me through that situation, when you were getting me through that struggle, when I was wrestling and suffering and 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 you made a way and and I got through that. I now I now can see that that was you. I couldn't see your footprints while it was happening. I couldn't I couldn't see exactly what you were doing. But now I can look back and I can go you were there. You were there. This writer is saying that to himself to remind himself in his grief, in his current state of grief, in his current struggle. He's reminding himself, God, you were faithful years ago. You, I'm remembering now, you got me through that thing that was so hard in the past. You were there. So Lord God, today, as I am struggling and crying out and frustrated and anxious and going, God, I don't see you. I don't see you, God. I don't see what you're doing. Where are you? It's in those moments that we have to remind ourselves, God, you are there. You are there. I don't see your footprints right now. I don't see how you're working. I don't see how you're answering me. I don't see how you're hearing me and acknowledging what I need. And I don't see that right now. And it's making me feel very alone. And it's very, very hard. But this psalmist reminds us when we pray that though we might feel like that, if we continue to seek him, if we continue to cry out to him, if we continue to pray these prayers to him, there will be a day when you will be able to look back and you will see the hand of God, the foot of God, the guidance of God, the path of God, you will be able to see it. His footprints are not visible right now. The way he's working is not visible right now, but it's happening. It's happening. Scripture says that the Lord is close to those who are brokenhearted, and he lifts up their heads. And you may not feel like that right now, and you may be so broken right now, and so distressed right now, not sleeping, not eating, whatever your case may be. And you may feel like you have been rejected, or you have been abandoned, or you have, you're being ignored by Him, by the God that supposedly loves you. And so I, I want to say to you today, Psalm 77, written thousands of years ago, it has a word for you. It has a word for that. May we remember what God has done. We have a whole book about it. You perhaps in your own life have testimony of it. When I get so sad or discouraged, I have things that I can go back to in life and I can cling to those and I can go, you know what, right now I feel discouraged, but, but I, I felt this before and Lord God, you healed. You healed, you mended, you forgave, you reconciled, you restore things. That's who God is. He restores. So in whatever mess of life you feel you are in right now, may you know that you are not abandoned, you are not rejected, you are not forgotten. The Lord God made you, he knit you together, and he walks, he walks with you. Since the very beginning of that garden in Genesis 1 through 3, we can see that God walks with us. That's his desire. He wants to walk with what he made. So may we continue to seek him. And may you be honest in your prayers. Just cry out and let him have it. Because you know what? He can handle it. He can handle that. He can handle what you got. So just give it to him. Just keep giving it to him in whatever way, because he's faithful. He's faithful to us, even when we cannot see it, even when his footprints are not visible. They are there, they're there. I love you friends. I'm here if you need me. <laughs>